Hi, uh, welcome to A Mother's Will Biographies, and I'm Lisa G. So, it, you know, it was really good going to Missouri. Um, it was exciting. Then we got to travel to do some more promo for this to California. And it was the same group of people, um, some new added, but we still had this kind of click. This was the AMW crew, you know? Again, I was there cooking, okay? I don't know why they think I could cook. <laughs> but I did my best and we all had a great time. From the audition process to actually doing this, it's just a continual family reunion every time. So we come together, we do what we have to do. Once the premiere gets here, oh child, we gonna be fabulous in the premiere. Um, but you know what, this also goes to, um, to gel what I was inspired to do growing up. You know, um, the stage to me is fabulous, but the world is a stage, just like being here. It was a great experience and leading me into doing other work on film and TV. Like right now, I do a lot of background work. Um, I was on Murphy Brown for all 13 episodes. Uh, it's canceled. But that was a great introduction to working with um, large production companies and on films. As a matter of fact, for uh, Mother's Will, when we filmed in California, I had just been selected to have a feature role in one of M. Night's films. And like I told Erwin, you know, I turned down the big ducats, honey, in order to do this film, but it was, it was all worth it. It was all worth it because those things will come along again. And you know, working on Murphy Brown with um, all of the actors, Candace Bergen, you know, just working with that and, and seeing the in workings of everything, you know, actors and actresses, they are human people. And, you know, they just do what they, what we all do. They just happen to be in front of a big camera doing it. So those experiences are great. You know, um, I continue to reach out and do projects. I've been on so many different shows that probably at this time haven't re-upped only because of, you know, us being in the situation we're in right now with the COVID-19. But you know what? It is what it is and we continue to work as artists. Uh, we continue to stretch our wings and, and move forward. You know, through this pandemic, through COVID, because we're, we weren't able to um, be on set and go and audition or um, be in person, you know, everybody was shut down. I picked up the side business, honey. My side hustle is my jewelry. I do for Touchstone Crystals, which is a derivative or a line from Saworski Crystals. And I've been doing that since COVID, actually before COVID started. And it's a great way. We, we do virtual parties. We do um, driveway parties, drive-by, backyard parties. And now that it's getting a little chilly, we'll do more virtual parties. But if you're interested in Touchstone Jewelry, you can go to www.touchstonecrystals.com forward slash Lisa G1.